So first of all, let's check out the Chiyin Weevil S, one of my favorite gimbals of all time. Super small, compact, and so sleek, a really nice design. Some uh, grip on the front over here, and then uh, aluminum all around. And all the axis locks are highlighted in red. As you can see, three axis locks, so easy to identify where the locks are. And also, this Chiyin Weevil S only comes with one tripod, which is interchangeable if you want to switch it to go into sling mode this tripod is a special tripod which you can lock into place once you screw this in so that's really really cool you can lock it into one of the holes so that's one of the cool things about the chain wable s and then on this side over here you can see a really nice silver electronic pull focus wheel and you got some buttons on the on the side here on the left hand side the function the p f and l and also the power button and on the front here of course you have that small lcd screen just enough to show you what mode you are in or uh, what camera aperture shutter speed and exposure compensation all on the screen right over here here's the mini joystick you have another pov button and a record button and a rotatable wheel over here for selecting uh, the menu options uh, over here so that's really cool one thing about this if you're holding it like that you tend to actually press accidentally press the buttons over here of course you can lock all the keys by pressing uh, the button twice and then it will lock but sometimes you know you forget that it's actually locked and stuff so you keep pressing it and it doesn't work so uh, having the buttons here not really comfortable to hold and the battery is underneath so really, really cool design of the True in Weevil as super small, sleek, powerful, can take DSLRs and uh, of course mirrorless cameras and the way it opens up as standard, so really, really nice and compact, small and of course if you don't want the hassle of switching in between the bottom and the uh, top sling mode, the tripod putting it here, you can actually get an additional tripod, that's what I do. I get an additional tripod, stick it on the bottom so I don't have to keep changing in between. So really, really nice, cheap, compact. Now, of course, the prices have dropped quite considerably. And uh, let's check out the parts and how they differentiate from the Weeble 2. So this is the camera riser. You can see really, really thick and also it can be adjusted. So that's really cool if you're doing uh, really handy, if you're doing really heavy camera setups. And then of course you have the quick release plate, something which the Chin Weevil 2 doesn't. So you can just mount the camera and then you can just stick it over here by uh, pressing the button. So this release plate over here, all you gotta do is unscrew it to unlock and it's adjustable and you can flip on this quick release plate and secure. And if you wanna remove the camera, again, loosen that, remove the camera and this still stays on so that's super convenient that's the chain weevil s and this is the quick release plate you can see on the front here is uh, for the lens support really really thin very very slim kind of uh, quick release plate and of course here is the uh, lens support and the lens support screw so this is what it looks like and then so let's check out the stuff on the chain weevil 2 Okay, so here's the Chi Weevil 2, super nice design as well. This is definitely one of the best looking gimbals out there in the market. And uh, right off the bat, you can see that it includes this sling handle over here and also the tripod as well. So uh, this is of course re removable. You can see the button over here to actually remove this if you don't want to use the sling mode. 
and of course the tripod is also removable and like i said if you want to remove the uh, tripod the handle for the sling mode very easy to uh, remove just unlock this over here loosen the lever and on the other side just press the button and it should slide off like that so pretty easy to remove if you don't want to use that handle but yeah i think that's the coolest features about the coolest feature about the design of the weeble this is slightly taller and you know it looks slightly bulkier than the chewing weeble too and it costs so much more expensive one of the cool features is that i like that they actually labeled everything you can see pan axis motor over here Everything is so well labeled, monitor, design and powered by Chi Yin. So a lot of cool finishes done, power button. The modes are on the side here, so that's really cool. Instead of having it on the handle where you'd be pressing it, it's all on the side here, including the power button and the joystick. And of course, that front trigger is over here in the front. No change to that one, uh, but I like how they actually shift it all these buttons on the side of the body and of course there is the beautiful 2.88 inch monitor and it's also touch screen and full color so that's really really cool and also the lock and unlock buttons are highlighted in silver so easy for you to identify as well and the levers also some of them are actually silver silver over here the unlock button so that's a really nice design finish yeah so the coolest thing is i, I guess is the monitor if you are having that transition module transmission transmitter module for your video i wish you actually made this grip you know slightly maybe one inch smaller so it would be slightly more compact but overall really really good and here's the parts that they have as well so this is the quick release plate also pretty similar to the Weeble 2, nice and thick. Here's the Weeble, Weeble S, I mean. Uh, here's the Weeble S camera riser. This is the Weeble 2's camera riser. You can see the difference. They are of the same height, same size as well. So this is the Weeble 2 screw and this is the Weeble S screw. So you can see Weeble 2's screw, the lens support screw slightly smaller in size but the height is exactly the same and looks uh, feels the same material as well hard aluminium very very light this is the uh, weeble 2's lens support and this is the weeble s lens support so it looks pretty much the same except for the weeble 2 has like some kind of uh, grooves on the side over here some threads for some reason but overall it looks exactly the same height and this one actually feels plasticky this one is actually metal the Weeble S's lens support is actually aluminium and the Weeble 2's lens support is actually plastic because a lot of people have been complaining that this aluminium lens support actually scratches the lens and some people are really pissed off that the lens is scratched uh, so yeah they changed it to plastic so really nice touch there as well and of course, like I said, the Weeble 2 has this, the Weeble S has this, you know, quick release plate. So that's really convenient. The Weeble 2 doesn't, unfortunately. Yep, so that's the differences between the two. So again, here's the difference. The main difference is the quick release plate. This one on the Weeble 2, the whole piece slides off. You need to remove the piece uh, if you want to remove the camera for a period of time. And then you have to remount it so that's really a bummer you know you need to uh, find or you need to remember you know before you remove it you need to remember what was the marking but for this the easy part is that you can just remove this piece over here together with the camera maybe you can take a few photographs and stuff and then after all uh, and then after that of course you can remove this plate if you want to it is removable so that's really cool that you can leave on this arca swiss plate and then if you want to put the camera back onto the gimbal you can do so without having to to readjust your marking or the balancing on the camera so that's one of the key features 
that the Weeble 2 is missing out on. And then from this shot over here, you can see the location of the lock axis. You can see the roll axis, the lock is on the axis itself. On the Weeble 2 is on the uh, body, not on the axis. So that's the first axis. And then the second axis is also on the body. This is the tilt axis is also on the body. Over here, as you can see that on the Weeble 2 is actually on the axis as well. And then the last axis is the pan axis, which is over here on the axis as well. But for the Weeble S, the pan axis is on the body of the gimbal. So that's the three locations of the axis, the pan, the roll and the tilt axis. But of course on the Weeble 2, we can slide out this beautiful 2.88 inch display. And then when you power it on, of course it's gonna vibrate, but at least I should get to show you what the monitor looks like. There's a nice LED here as well to indicate the battery level. You can see that it's low battery at the moment, but you're checking out the screen. Beautiful, nice color touch screen. So that's really cool. So last of all, the location of the charging ports on the Weeble S and the Weeble 2. For the Weeble S, the charging port is actually on the right side over here. As you can see, open up that rubber protection. USB-C charging port and for the Weeble 2 is actually on the bottom at the back you can just open it up also you are using the USB-C charging port so that's really cool so that's the location of the charging ports for both of them so thanks guys for watching hope you enjoyed this video hit the subscribe button and the like button and of course if you have any questions or comment below and I'll see you in the next one guys. Be sure to check out my upcoming video whereby I'll be doing a new mount, the Sony A7C, onto the Shun Weeble 2. So stay tuned for that guys. Thanks for watching and peace.